welcome, welcome, welcome to Come On Now, the podcast. Uh, how's it going, y'all? Um, y'all, I just came from running uh, treadmills, so I'm kind of hyped, kind of hyped. My blood's still flowing. Y'all know I got that race against against Rudy. Um, it's not against Rudy, but Rudy said I can't run a 10-5 in 100, and that's in three weeks, and we're going live on the podcast. Y'all tune in that day. But what I jumped on for on next week's today is real quick, not long, just before the basketball games get rolling and jumping the day on WNBA. I just wanted to dive in on the, on the Chicago Sky game yesterday I watched. Um, it was embarrassing, man. They got the win, but it's quite embarrassing to see what they're doing. Teresa Witherspoon, I'm not going to say she should be fired, but – looking to replace her should be high on their list right now. Because right now what they are doing, they are not playing to win the game. They are really playing out there to market Angel Reese. They are out there running plays for Angel Reese where in no rhyme or reason she should get any plays ran for her. She should be a high energy, high motor player who runs up and down the court, beat other opposing bigs down the court and get layups if she makes it. But instead they are running down low plays for her. They are running high low plays for her. Everything that they should be running for Camilla Cardosa, they are running for her. And this is why their team is not thriving like it should. Um, the girl and the lady, young lady, is shooting under 40%. And it's definitely a struggle for her down there on the blocks. But yet they continually go down and down and look for her on the blocks to make something happen. And what is coming out of it are balls that are being thrown over the basket on the side of the rim, under the rim, and it's awkwardly, it's awkward basketball, and and it looked like they are marketing her rather than trying to win the game. So to the detriment of the team of what they should be doing, they should be running with Kennedy Carter. They should be running pick and rolls with her in the big wide base of Camilla Cadosa and have her diving down and then be sitting on the blocks and get in position, and they run the offense through her. And she is suffering from the draft picker of, of, of Reese. And she's the higher pick. And she was supposed to be the one that's getting all these plays ran for her. But since she had the injury at the beginning of the season, she missed those first couple of games. Andrew Reese got it going a little bit early and became the media darling for the Chicago team. They decided not to go with what should have been the game plan of featuring Camilla Cadosa. And that's hurting the team drastically. Kennedy Carter has come on and she has thrived. And I know she was on the bench yesterday and the um, – What's her name? Allen. She came in and she had a strong game. She controlled the, the pace. She made good reads. She got to the. She did whatever she really wanted to do. But in the whole big, thick, in the in the whole vacuum of things, it should the the team is not doing what they should be doing. Imagine if if uh, what's my guy? Phil Jackson had Michael Jordan and Scottie Pippen and decided to run their offense and run plays for Dennis Rodman. He'll be fired. He'll be on the first thing smoking out of there. And that's what they're doing for injuries. They are running plays for her. You would never run a play for Dennis Rodman. You go through Jordan, you go through Pippen, and then maybe Coach. And on their team, their Jordan is Kennedy Carter. And their Pippen, who's the second option, should be Camilla Cadosa. Her big body, her wide frame, she's scoring the ball at a 48% clip. She's a better finisher than Angel Reese, and she's a better low post. She has a little bit more moves. She don't get off the ground much, but she's such a wide and big body that when she gets position on certain players, there's nothing that they can do about it anyway because they are so buried under the rim. So I don't get the infatuation of trying to make Angel Reese look better than she is. Right now, I don't know if it's to get her the rookie of the year, which she clearly is not going to win. She is not the rookie of the year, not even close, if you watch what Caitlin Clark has done. Caitlin Clark is carrying that team as the first option. She's orchestrating the team as the first option. Everything flows through her, not being the second or third best player on the team. She's the first best player on the team. And the best thing that happened to her, I know we cried about it, and we made a big deal about her not being on Team USA, but that was the best thing that happened to her. She got time to rest, and she came back rejuvenated. And she had a pep to her step. And I'm going to give some kudos to Christy Sides. She actually ran some plays for her to get her open. And she got some good looks at threes. And and even Kai Coop Copper, who, Kalia Coop Copper, who, who was uh, a Team USA perimeter defender, one of the best in the league at doing it, 
had a tough time trying to stay in front of of Caitlin Clark. And that was the big thing that we made it that people made a deal. The ESPN panel, um, Andrea Carter, Janae Agumake, um, they made about her not being tough enough and not being able to handle the Olympic style FIBA rule play overseas. But Copper basically played that type of defense on her. And Caitlin Clark had her way with her. Either way, any way she wanted to go left, right, up, down, she did anything she wanted to do. And Teresa Weatherspoon, it looked like she's running plays for Angel Reese, like she has the props on her for the over. And that is hurting their team, and they have to do better. The offense should be going through Carmela Cadosa. And that's basically what I wanted to just dive in before the game started today. And my son has entered the picture. He wants to get on the podcast today, and he wants to talk. What you feel? Should the uh, Chicago Sky be running the offense through Angel Reese? Yes. No. <laughs> no way. No way. No way, not at all. So um, I just wanted to dive into that before the games got started today. Um, we're interested and in looking forward to what they're going to do. Both teams are playing again, but this rookie of the race, this rookie of the year race is definitely over, and we all know it. So let's stop it. Let's just give her her, her kudos. Let's give her, Caitlin Clark, her flowers for being the rookie of the year and probably third or fourth in MVP voting. And that's what it should be. And Angel Reese has been a good player. And it's a good story, but definitely not the first option. And we have to look into what Chicago Sky is doing. Are they trying to win or are they just trying to market Angel Reese? And that's what we have for Nick Speaks today on um, Come On Now, the podcast. Hit that follow button. Subscribe. We're here. We're bringing y'all all the stories live. And I'm out. Have a good one.